And now that we learned how to send an order, uh, we learn how to modify an open order. So in the MetaTrader, for example, imagine that here we have an open order uh, for your USD. We have a buy order here. We have stop loss and we have take profit. And uh, for Bitcoin, we have another open order. For example, one sell. And again, we have stop loss and take profit. Uh, you can see the open orders here. Each order, when it is open, it has several parameters. For example, here, this is the ID of order. Here is the time that order is opened. Here is the type of order, whether it is buy or sell, or sell stop or buy stop, or sell limit or sell limit. The lots and the size of the order is here. The symbol of order is here and other parameters. We have several parameters. To access these parameters, it is important. First, we select the order. For example, if we want to change the parameter of this order, whether it is the stop loss or take profit or even its lot, first we must select it. Then after selection, we modify it. So how we can do this selection? We can, do, we can select them by their, their ID, which is here, or by their positions. What is positions? Here, the positions for this open order is zero, for this open order is one, and so on. Zero, one, two, three, four, and so on. So, in this PowerPoint, I'll explain more. The first important things that you must remember is that we have a temporary memory. When we select the order, whether we select it by the ID or by its position, all, all the data of the order would be saved in this temporary memory, including its lots, including its sub loss, take profit, type of the order, ID of the order, magic number, and so on. All of them would be saved in this temporary memory, and we can access them by a certain predefined functions, but order modify, to modify our order but you can you must remember that for example if i or i select for example an order i can uh, access to its slot through order lots predefined function for its stop loss can be accessed through order stop loss predefined function for the take profit we have order take profit for the type we have order type for id we have order ticket and for magic number, we have order magic number. What is the magic number? For example, for a specific pair, we have several open orders. Each of them are open based on some, for example, strategy. And uh, when some conditions is true, we want to close those orders uh, which uh, has, for which have, for example, magic number one thousand. But we want to, we want the orders with magic number one thousand one stay open. So. Uh, it, just again remember that when we use order select and select the order by for example its position and I show you how we would save its uh, parameter in a temporary memory and then we can modify it and uh, uh, pre this predefined function is very similar to uh, order send and for example first we give it the symbol then the time frame lot and so on and even we can use order close to close an open order and again it is very very similar to order send we have the symbol time frame lots how many lots do you want to close for example if you have one lot open for a share or pair you want to for example close half of them so we can use Order close. So now that we learned that, we go to MQL and then we test it. Uh, I, for example, close them, close these orders. Uh, in the last sections, we learned how to send an order. Now, after sending an order, I just simply simply uh, select simply select one of so select the order 
and uh, modify it. How to do that? I use order select. Order select and parenthesis. The first one is the index. If I double click and press F1, the index, index or order ticket. And the next one is flag, and the third one is mode. It may seem a little sophisticated, but it is not. It is not at all. Uh, I show you, see here, mode trades. We have two type of mode, mode trades and mode history. Order select from trading pool and order select from history pool. What is, what is trade pools? And what is history pools? See, this is trade pools, the orders which are open, and history is here, the order orders which are closed. And come back here. The next one is flag. Flag is very important. You want to select it by position or you want it to select by ticket. Here I want to select it by position. So uh Here I use zero and then index is select, select by position. And if I do not define search section, it automatically consider that we want to use the mode trade trades and use the open order pools. So first I select the order with the position zero and then I define a for loop I want to modify it for example three time int i and it is equal to zero while i is less than for example less than equal to three i plus plus and I want to for I want it, I wanted to modify the order each time this for loop is executed. So I want to use order modify which ticket the ticket of selected order. How we can access it? Here we said that to access uh, the ID, to access the ID, we use order ticket. So here we use order ticket to print as. Then in which price you want to do that? I want to use it in ask price because. I want to do it in ask price because in this case I want to send an op and buy order. If it was sell order, we must use bid. So stop loss order stop loss minus, for example, two hundred point and take profit order take profit plus again 200 point and we don't have expiration time and the color is zero i completely explained to you it, it, it may seem a little complicated but you can be sure that it's not it's not complicated at all well if i compile it uh, but uh, let's have a slip here so we can see the result better better for example sleep pull for 2000 millisecond and then if I compile it and run it I, I want to have a buy order and 
with this lot size and if I press OK nothing would happen because here it is the auto trading is deactivated if I activate it and again run it and press OK one the order is open and then after we had some problem so uh, we have a problem here because we select the order and then go to the for loop but we must use this order select in the for loop i explain i explain completely first first you just see its performance and then i explain completely uh, and we can here have an alert after the four is over we can hear an alert that it says the modification is over and we close it with semicolon i compile it now i drag and drop our expert advisor in euro usd and we see how does it work let's let me to close this uh, uh, indicator and now i have an open order i close it uh, if i drag and drop it here first an order would be open and then after two seconds it would be modified and the uh, take profit go higher and stop loss go lower it repeats repeats is for three times or for four times excuse me for four times it would be uh, repeated and then we would have an alert that the modification is over so if i press ok an order is open and then it modify it then again modify it again modify it and after four times we would have this message the modification is over this is how we modify our code but how does it work for for the first time that this for loop is executed i is equal to zero yes i is less than three so go and execute this for it come and select the order select the order with its stop loss its take profit and all of them then we modify it in the modif order modify predefined function we put the or the id of selected order then the ask then we want to modify the stop loss of selected order by 20, 200 points we want it, we want it to be 200 point lower then we want to modify the order the selected order take profit by 200 points we want the new take profit be 200 point higher and so on and then it slip for two second and it plus plus i and i would be one and here again it checks one is less than three and again repeat this loop this this system work like this i know it might be a little complicated but it is very simple you must just remember that first you should select the order and when you selected the order all of these Datas, order ticket, order stop loss, order profit, uh, take profit, all of them would be saved in a temporary, in a temporary memory, and then you can access all of them in your order modify predefined function.